On today's episode, featured videos include... Hi there, everyone. Welcome to episode 16 of the supplemental broadcast here on Alexandria Alternative Media Broadcasting and OK Copernicus Production. I'm your host, Jess. You can call me Epitome or Burn Kid um, because I am Epitome the Burn Kid. Uh, please be sure to follow the entire archival project, hashtag YouTube Recommended Chronicles on X or Tumblr for the latest videos, uh, memes, music, and more. Listen to the official soundtrack on SoundCloud. Uh, links for all of this and more will be in the description box below. Um, and uh, just a friendly programming reminder, uh, heavy solar activity uh, is very common this time of year. I'm very electromagnetically sensitive to that. And I am also a, you know, electronic music producer and I do a lot of electronic work. So I have to ration my energy very well, considering all of these changes as we uh, go through this wonderful shift. Welcome to 5D, everyone. The beginning is nigh. So now that we've had that lovely disclaimer, let's go on to today's featured video recommendations. If you're anything like myself, you have known your entire life that we do not live in a free country and that our government is here for no one's benefit aside from their endless search for narcissistic supply. <laughs> then solely focuses all their efforts on how to exploit said supply from the general public. In our first video, Roman uh, ba Balmakov takes us through the COVID drama that opens the floodgates for martial law in America. Indefinite detention for the unvaccinated is the next step in the communist, capitalist, fascist fused nightmare scape of post Patriot Act, post COVID American legislative abuse. Check out uh, his uh, channel, Facts Matter, with uh, Roman Balmakov for more. So, the communist. Uh, I mean, the feminist. Uh, let's be real. The commies infiltrated all minority movements. So, both made being a biological male a stigmatized existence brimming with emasculation and discrimination for any male wishing to be treated better than mere detestable chattel to be ordered about. Well, in our second video, <laughs> who could have possibly known the backlash of this behavior uh, would be uh, disenfranchised uh, straight males transitioning into women then claiming they're lesbians? Well, I most certainly saw that coming. <laughs> Helen Joyce and Andrew Gold discuss how only a man can identify as a trans woman in this lively interview on identity politics. And now we have uh, James Lindsay is back on the broadcast with this new Discourses Bullets mini podcast laying out the framework and strategy of communist entryism. Everyone needs an in to get influence and communists are literally obsessed with the infiltration and conquest of the working class. Whether they know that's what they're up to uh, varies by how brainwashed a communist in question actually is. I don't care if it's communist, socialists, or Democrats who talk all this talk about workers and the working class, but it's a trap and it's a lie. Learn more about the ins and outs of the current revolution attempts on the New Discourses uh, channel. It's one of my favorites, personally speaking. Now we have uh, Patera and Appalachia's Homestead back on the supplement with her video for all of us chosen ones. It would appear that the Great Awakening is full steam ahead over in Patera's neck of the woods on her channel. And I am most happy to see more people identifying with the shift. We're all on different parts of our journey through rapturous phenomenon of biblical proportions and getting ready to know the cast of characters is really inspirational during the ascension process that we're all embarking on together. And uh, now we have uh, from the channel uh, GB00, uh, the title of this video is The Church is Infiltrated uh, by uh, Mari Emanuel. It's, the title says it all. The church is infiltrated. I must say that I fully agree with this notion, and it is why I left the church upon coming of age and reaching further enlightenment from scripture and lectures. Check out this hot take on the church from Mari Emanuel, shared by the channel GB00. We are seeing around us 
what happens when you try to remove God or spirituality from everything and replace it with government science and economic moral statutes in its place. Needless to say, nothing good has resulted from this unless you're extremely depraved or a common criminal like the majority of that so-called um, professional managerial class and like the government workers and stuff. So, uh, yeah, they used to be um, called taskmasters and uh, Yao Men back in the days of overt slavery. Why they can't see it for what it is um, in modern times, I could not tell you. These are the same people who disavow both God and the notion of evil um, just so that they have an excuse to play God and define legalities. Don't be fooled by any of this. Legal, there's nothing moral about legalism. Moral is not uh, synonymous with legal and vice versa. That's just not how it works. And uh, our final feature today should be helpful for anyone interested in learning more about uh, the Hindu root source holy book, the uh, Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> I think it is a very important that uh, regardless of your spiritual beliefs or religion, that um, everyone take the time to learn more about other traditions directly from the source in lieu of taking someone's word for what they claim is written. Just so that you, you know, have a firsthand account and just so you're keeping stuff accurate. This is a complete summary of uh, this holy book and should aid in further exploration and study if you uh, choose to study and learn more about that. And uh, that wraps up all of our video uh, selections for today, which brings us to my favorite part of the show, the uh, auspicious op-ed. So I uh, got some words for everyone. Uh, they, they meant a lot to me and I hope they mean something to you. Here goes. Infiltration appears to be a major dynamic that we all must become more adept at clearly deciphering, identifying, and dismantling for a more efficient restoration of peace and integrity to our society. The long game was taken to a whole new level since the contemporary era began unfolding before the crash on Black Tuesday back in 1929. I know a little more than most having a most unique upbringing, a uh, very post-depression style back in the 80s and 90s, having been raised by my grandparents, great-grandparents, and great-great-grandmother in a multi-generational home in a very small rural town on the eastern shore of Maryland. The things you see today are so much more senseless, thoughtless, and artificial than they were before the world was flung into its first major global financial nightmare, pushing systems and stability to the brink of total destruction. If only they had been wise enough to cut their losses and walk away from the lazy dreams of entitled decadence because they thought they could enslave money to make them more money in this thing called a stock market. The ancestors of many of the major players on the stage today are rooted in the financial debauchery that rose to fashion after the fraud and devastation of the early industrial antebellum uh, era. Let us not forget how many rubber checks were cash like they were legit, written by the CSA, not the USA, and uh, CSA is the Confederate States of America. Uh, but they were cashed overseas as though it was the legitimate federal government everyone was used to cashing checks from, and not those despot confederates. Only now does my grandfather's remark, damn communists, <laughs> we can't ever let them think they can take this country ever again whenever we would pass the re rebel flags driving uh, down the road in the country. When I was young, I couldn't imagine the Democratic Party returning to its disgusting Jacksonian roots the way we have seen those commies show their true colors as they ran every sensible liberal and moderate clear out of town over the past decade. Globalists have no use for good people in any system. Just like the communists exiled the intelligentsia back in the Soviet Union, if they didn't sentence them uh, to worse than being exiled. Uh, when they were just no longer convenient for use, they were done with them. They washed their hands of them. And that was who did most of their, you know, mental, uh, mental work, their, their brain work, who, but they just didn't believe in, in communism and they never uh, submitted to it. So they were exiled or worse happened to them. So, you know, let's remember the same uh, thing is probably going to follow. Anti-globalists and anti-totalitarians who wish to defend and uphold our constitution will be regarded as enemies of the state by every institution puppeteered by the deep state, NGOs, and stakeholder capitalists. 
patriotism has been misconstrued as right-wing nationalism when the truth is that just what that this is just what communists do because they are illiterate in the name of solidarity and further the illiteracy of future generations to cement the destruction of the respect for individuals and their rights through follow towing the line and uh you know following the script the Red Scare was not in vain, but it did not in any way prevent the communist infiltration of our higher education systems in the 60s and 70s, followed by the KGB's admitted infiltration of our K-12 through education system in 1984. I encourage everyone to do their research so that they can finally come to understand that neoliberalism, neoconservatism, imperialism, communism, socialism, fascism, despotism, totalitarianism, and authoritarianism are all different flavors of the same narcissistic disease. The insatiable quest for more and more supply at any cost it is up to us to nip this in the bud, slow and steady, nudge method infiltration uh, without any hesitation. In the beginning, I was far more open to debate and reasoning when I thought they would approach new or different ideas with maturity and openness. Then I found out just how unreasonable the mass formation common, uh, the mass formation was common amongst the normies uh, has become especially uh, common within the self-declared leftists. The plot was set in motion long ago, enough that on some cases, more than two generations have been indoctrinated to side with idealism that is not being presented honestly or completely. American school children go to school to learn that everything in America is immoral and unethical in this twisted, quasi-secular, Luciferian, neo-Maoist brainwashing model imposed by force after the neo-Marxists planted the seeds during the Cold War era. Starting to make sense yet? I'm just getting started here at the supplemental broadcast, and we're going to uncover more as we go on this journey together. That uh, wraps up uh, our show for today, brings us to our musical selection. Uh, this is under my uh, musical project, Aztec Adventure. Uh, the track is uh, titled Fresco. Uh, go on over to SoundCloud and check that out. Official music video is up on uh, YouTube and Rumble. I'd like to thank everyone for coming along with me on this adventure for another episode. Uh, please help uh, this get out to more people in the algorithm. If you uh, learned anything, you found this helpful or informational, uh, please do me a favor and uh, subscribe, like, and share. And also, uh, when you follow me on the archive, if there are stories that you think people need to see, by all means, retweet, reblog, repost, share. Let's get the word out. Like, we, we, we outnumber these guys. We are way smarter. Let's do this. Uh, stay prepped. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And be excellent to one another. I love y'all. And I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.